Okay, so this is a quick demonstration of my Figma animation tool. So what you're looking at here is this animated SVG and we're going to attempt to replicate something like it. So this is Figma. And the first thing we're going to do is create a frame because my animation thing needs a frame. So it doesn't really matter which one it is as long as you've got a frame. So we'll make this one that big or so doesn't really matter and then what we're going to do is we're going to color the background of the frame in orange so we want to make it the same orange so that's ff9c08 so background is ff9c08 bang there's our frame now i'll zoom that up a bit just so we can see it a bit more clearly now what we want now is a rectangle. Let's make it about 60 by 60. Uh, so about that big there or thereabouts. Doesn't really matter. And we want it to be empty in fill. So we'll make that a zero. And we'll give it a stroke of FFFFFF. We make it be a center stroke because that's what SVGs are, and we'll make it be, I don't know, eight pixels wide, let's say. Okay, and then we want to round the corners a bit like that, so that's fine. Now we want uh, another rectangle for the handle. So we'll make that, I don't know, about that big looks about right. Dun, dun, dun. Again, we'll make it a uh, transparent fill. We'll make it a white stroke, eight pixels, center stroke. That's now aligned. And now we're going to get the rounded corner thing. No, no, we're not. So we need to. Do we say edit the object? I can never remember how to do this. And we'll make that like that let's say this is not identical to the uh to the other thing that we drew but it's close enough not a problem right so then we've got that we also want the stuff at the top so we want an ellipse so we'll make one about that big and then we'll duplicate it a bunch of times to make the foam duplicate that again there duplicate Ooh. Duplicate that again there. That looks about right. We'll select the lot. We'll make them a group. And we'll make it white. And we'll stick it on the top. Okay, so not perfect, but you see the principle. So now what we want to do is we want to create the bubbles. So again, we'll make some bubbles. We'll make one which is about... We'll call it four by four. Okay, and that wants to be white and 30% opacity. Okay, so now we'll duplicate that a bunch of times and then put that over there like that. And then if we select all of those and say distribute horizontal spacing, we get a nice line. Okay, and now I'm going to duplicate that one, and I'm going to make it bigger. So we'll make this six by six, and then do the same thing again. Oh. Duplicate that a bunch of times, put that one over there like that, select all of those, distribute them all horizontally evenly, so that's good. And then we'll take another one of these, duplicate it again. We'll make this one 8 by 8. Again, duplicate it a bunch. Put it over there like that. Distribute them evenly. Okay, so we've now got the same, uh, a bunch a bunch of potential bubbles. Now, if we make them all centered on the same line, so we get this nice line like this. Okay, so now we need 
Figma animation. So we click on my Figma animation book, bookmark it, and now we have an animation thing. So, for reasons that will become clear in a moment, we're going to do the end keyframe first. So we want them all to rise up to the top. So we'll put them all up the top and then say, and then we'll move the keyframe uh, counter, the frame counter to, I don't know, here, seems fine, and then hit record, and that will add a bunch of keyframes. So there's one keyframe for each of those at frame 149 with all of these circles in this position. Now, if we move them all down to here, and then we move this back to one and hit record again, we get another bunch of keyframes with them all in this position. So now, if you just hit play, we'll see a demo of what this looks like. So it will actually play through the keyframes. And you can see over the course of the animation, they will rise up to the top. So that's all good. So now what we want to do is we want to just change the positions of them a bit. So if I pick that circle there, we'll make it rise up to the top in between there and there. And then if we pick the next one, we'll make it rise up to the top in between here and here, let's say. And then so if we hit play now, you can see those two move at different speeds. And then we just do the same with all the rest. So we'll have that one move in between there and there, and we'll have that one move in between there and there, and we'll have that one move in between. Okay, so now if we hit play, There we have our animated beer pot. And if we hit download, it'll download an HTML page, open that in Firefox, and there it is. And that page is just HTML and CSS. If I view the source, you can see here that's, that's just an SVG. Okay, which is the SVG that, that came directly out of Figma. We've added a few extra things to it, but it's basically the SVG that came directly out of Figma. There's a tiny little bit of style here just to make it fit the page. And then here's a little block of JavaScript. And what the JavaScript does is it uses uh, GSAP, GreenSock, to do, the, to do the animation. But again, there's not very much. This is all it is. That's the end of the demo.